Guy Verhofstadt has triggered a backlash on social media after he mocked Nigel Farage on Twitter following the former Brexit party leader's appearance at a rally in support of U.S. President Donald Trump in Arizona. Mr. Farage spoke at the event earlier this week, describing the 74-year-old Republican as the single most resilient and bravest person I've ever met in my life. Mr. Verhofstadt, who regularly sparred with Mr. Farage when they were members of the European Parliament, posted, if Farage is Trump's secret weapon, his campaign must be in real trouble. Twitter users were quick to react, with former Brexit party MEP Belinda de Lucy commenting, the EU lost one if it's most powerful, important and successful nations and your watch. You ain't no lucky charm sweet cheeks. Andrew Sweeney, really? Farage was able to defeat the entire British and EU establishment powers, referring to Brexit. Another Twitter user said, if I remember rightly Nigel won that particular battle hands down. I would go as far to say he brought the whole of the EU down. Others will be following us and asking Nigel for advice. Another added, bitterness will eat you up Mr. Verhofstadt. If you recall, Farage's intervention was what helped to deliver the UK from the EU's clutches. I would suggest that you need to take a long hard look in the mirror. The EU is failing whilst the rest of the world moves on. Another poster sought to remind the former Brexit representative for the European Parliament of a famous scene in last year's behind-the-scenes documentary, Brexit, Behind Closed Doors. They said, I never get tired of watching the video of you and your EU cronies sitting around the table raising a glass of wine in celebratory fashion on deliberate Brexit negotiating sabotaging comments. Guy, the time you could be trusted to stand up for anyone else has long passed you by. Referring to Mr. Farage, another Twitter user asked, remind us Guy, who campaigned for years, forcing a pro-EU PM to have a referendum. Who then against the odds campaigned and won said referendum. Who then forced the pro-EU PM, T. May, to resign following a drubbing in the EU elections and paved the way for a pro-Brexit government. Sander Van Dam was even more direct, saying, what was the result of the Brexit referendum, Guy?